Ho, 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 and welcome back to the Nine Nodes of Christmas. This is day two, and in day one, we looked at the Height Normal Blender Node. But today's treat will find us looking at... Histogram Scan Node. So without further ado, let's dive in and look at that cheeky little chap. So here we are in Substance Designer, and let's have a look at this cheeky little chap then, the Histogram Scan node. Now the Histogram Scan node can be found in the Filters Adjustment section here, and there it is, Histogram Scan. So you just grab one of these, drag it into the scene. Now what the Histogram Scan is going to allow us to do, it allows us to crush values within the actual Levels command. So you can probably see on the right hand side we've got a position and a contrast. So when it's at 0 and 0 it's going to be completely black, but once we take a grayscale image and input that into this little um, nodular input here, you'll see that we'll be able to crush a lot of the values and this is extremely useful when using a mask for blending. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So here we've got a, a setup. I've got a diffuse node here. Uh, that's just a specular. So I've got my histogram scan and I've just chosen clouds. So clouds can go to noises and you can just drag in a clouds node, I'll use this one, I'll just drag it in. Um, if you don't see anything there, you can always go to um, compute nodes thumbnails, and there you go. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag this in, this is grayscale, so I'm just going to drag this into here, and then I'm just going to drag this into here. Now at the moment it's completely black, so we're not seeing anything at all, but if I double click on the histogram scan and start pulling up the position, we can start to see we're starting to grab in some of the values. So we're looking from the brightest Y values and we're pulling it across, and we're starting to see pretty much all of the image there coming through. Um, and as you can see, we can really just blow it out once we get to one, so then it's just completely white. But the great thing what you can do with this is, if you wanted to blend in two colours or something like that, but you wanted quite a contrasty, sharp transition between the white and the blacks, you can start to pull the contrast node up as well, and you can see we're starting to get quite kind of like a crisp edge. And that's extremely useful, so we can start to pull that down, so where it's white you could have one colour, and where it's black you could have another colour, and you can have quite a sharp transition between both of the colours there and then obviously we're plugging that into the diffuse but working on yesterday's um, actual node that we looked at, the height normal blender uh, we could drag this into the height of there and as you can see it's also taking the information where it's white it's going to be raised and where it's black it's actually uh, sunken into the normal map and we can just make that more intense or less intense and we're just blending it in with that normal node so if you haven't seen day ones go back there and have a look at that but that my friends is in effect the histogram scan ho 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 what a fabulous treat that was join me on day three where we'll see what santa has hurled down the chimney for us and have a merry christmas ho ho ho